So I'm from California and I have a lot of friends that are similar to me. Like we just, whatever we see on TV or like whatever people are recommending like from our friends, we end up using. So um, I think people know that they're, at this point, um, people know that Korean products are really good, but they don't know what to choose. I thought that there was not enough information out there, especially online through blogs or videos. And so that's how Soak was born. I think that um, there was a first wave that has already gone to the US from K-Beauty with specific you know, e-commerce platforms and different uh, brands that are promoting Korean products. But now since there is a hype and there is a real demand for it, I think um, we need to be communicating that to the mainstream audience, the average American um, that cares about beauty, skincare. I think it's a great time to be a part of that. We started off as a blog and website, so it was a magazine that would talk about different launches and new brands and things that weren't really being covered in the US, um, but were super popular here. And then we started Soak Brunches, which were um, events that brought a lot of people who are internationals or like expats living here and also has specific interests whether it be skin, beauty, fashion, you know, and we started building community. Um, so we do events and that is also like a marketing platform for brands that really want to hit the international market and demographics. So we've been doing that and then um, I've also been working with brands directly to help them market to the US audience. I actually love Korean products. The more I learned about it and the more I actually use the products and the, uh, the brands that I was introduced to, they have amazing innovation, science, ingredients, and just like philosophy in what they do. And the price point is so great compared to a lot of brands. Um, the mainstream brands in the US are like Dior or Estee Lauder. And, Skincare is really expensive. It's very competitive and you get so much more for your money uh, when you do use Korean skincare just because it like Koreans love to take care of their skin. It's been forever. So um, yeah, I definitely think there's a higher quality and like better price point for Korean brands. A lot of the influencers here have a more Western audience or like European or Latin American audience. And so for us, it's important for when we work with brands that want to expand internationally and it's more that we bring that lifestyle aspect versus just promoting a brand but it's like oh like we like fashion and makeup and skincare and kind of really bringing things organically um, to the rest of the world. We started off with the US audience but doing this for a while I realized there's a huge demand from Singapore, Southeast Asia, like South America, like Latinos, um, Brazilians, and even Middle Eastern um, people. There's so much going on like in the rest of the world. Yes, my goal is to definitely hit multiple countries. Yeah. Back in Morocco, Pony is really famous. I use them a lot. Actually, uh, way back in Morocco too, I used to do Korean products. Even though we don't have it in Morocco, I used to come here in vacation and buy a lot of products. It's really good and a lot of Arab people like it. And I would love that Pony or other brands go to Arab countries as well and do some like, business there. It's, it's gonna be good.